Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my November favorites and it is December 1st, so you know what, this is on time this month, just saying. Okay, so I haven't done a November uh, favorites video actually in like a few months, so I decided to do it now because I'm just really lazy and I don't feel like editing that much today because it's Sunday and I'm filming this really late. So yeah, I want to get this video up for you guys, so yeah, let's just get started. So my favorite song for this month off Midnight Memories is Better Than Words or Happily. And my favorite song in general is Can We Dance or Piano by Ariana Grande still. And these have been my favorites for like a while, like other than Midnight Memories obviously because it just came out. So my favorite merchandise for the month is this Midnight Memories CD. Oh my god, I'm like want to cry right now. Okay, so this is like literally perfection. Like, I don't know. This is the yearbook version. I got this for like $20 because it was on sale at Target and then I got like a discount or whatever. So the CD is like in here and then the yearbook like pictures and stuff are like here and whatnot. So yeah, that is perfect. And then also I really like this case that I got off Amazon, which I showed you guys in my haul and I just think it's so pretty and I love the colors on it. So yeah, it's really perfect. Another thing that I've been loving is the Seventeen magazines. So there's Harry, Louis, Liam, Zane, and Niall. And I just love those pictures of them because they're really new and they are just amazing. So now for things that happened in November, there's actually like a lot and I don't have everything. I'm not going to say everything because that would just take forever. So some of the things that happened in November were November 1st, I went to an Ed Sheeran concert. That was perfect. I can't, he's just perfect. I have a video on that, which I'll leave down below if you guys want to check it out. It's a vlog from the concert. On November 3rd, there was the Japan private party for the end of tour, and they dressed up in, like, Halloween costumes and Harry just as Miley. Okay, that was just perfect. Nothing, no more words to say for that. And that was also the last tour date. And also, the Story of My Life video came out, so that was amazing. And on Wednesday, November 6th, we found out that we got to 1.5 million views in 24 hours, which did not beat the record, but still so proud of us, and that video is so amazing. November 10th, we won three EMAs, and the Story of My Life behind-the-scenes video is out. On November 11th, the Story of My Life audio CD came out, so if you, like, got, if you live in, like, the UK or whatever, you can buy that. You can't buy that here in the US, but yeah. On November 13th, Harry's sister graduated from university and they took an amazing picture together which is on Harry's Instagram. So you had to go check that out if you haven't because you will die. On November 15th was BBC's Children Children and Need which is what One Auction was at and they like um, did for like charity. November 18th, a new track from iTunes was released. On November 20th, the third track from Midnight Memories was released on iTunes. This is if you pre-ordered the album. And the last one was released on the 22nd of November, but on the 21st of November they performed on USA X Factor, which was amazing. They performed Story of My Life, and if you watched that, tell me what you thought in the comments below because that was just an amazing performance, and I watched it with my parents. It was so perfect. On the 22nd was the Midnight Memories album release party in Los Angeles, which the boys were at, and then on the 22nd there was also the IR Radio listening party in Los Angeles with Ryan Seacrest, and on the 23rd was the One Day live stream. That was so amazing if you got to watch that. You guys are so lucky. I only got to watch part of it, and I watched some of it afterward because I was at a Sweet 16 that day, but still I watched like four hours of it or something like that, and it was so amazing. Literally, best day ever. On November 24th, they were at the AMAs in Los Angeles, and they won two awards, and they performed, and I love that award show. That was so amazing, and the boys were so cute. I can't. On November 25th was when Midnight Memories was out, and that was an amazing day. I'm so happy for the boys that the album turned out so perfect, and they put in so much work for it, and I'm just really, really, really proud. Can't wait for where we are tour. On November 26th was the boys' performance on Good Morning America in New York City, and I did not get to go to that, but I did meet Ariana Grande that day and Nathan Sykes from The Wanted, so I'll enter those pictures now. And they were so nice. And I also met um, Jones Crow, Isaac, and Frankie Grande, and her mom. And they were so nice. And um, I have pictures with all of them, but I'm not going to insert those because it's a lot. But yeah, so I really love that. And I also went to Ariana Grande's holiday party on that day. So also on November 26th, some of the VIP tickets were released for Where We Are Tour, which was really last minute. But yeah, so I didn't buy VIP because I didn't want to spend the money on that because it was a lot of money and you didn't get to meet the boys. On that day also was when pre-sale started for Where We Are Tour and I was going to buy tickets for that, but I did not have a city card. So then I actually went on Wednesday to get a city card for my dad's friend, but by then, like, all the good seats were taken for my concert that I'm going to. So I'm probably going to buy tickets on Tuesday when they come out. So yeah, if you guys bought Where We Are tickets for the North America part of it, leave a comment down below and tell me which one you're going to. Some new merch that I got this month. I'm only going to show you stuff that was not in my haul, which I got today, actually. 
So I put it all in this pencil case because it is stationary, well most of it. So it's all from the dollar section in Target, which you should definitely check out because they have a lot of stuff there. So I just got these pencils and there's three sets, so there's 15 pencils right here. And this is like one of them, but like they're too small to like show you guys. But then I got glitter pens, so there's this one which came with each of them because they were separate. And then one of each guy, so there's Niall, Louie, Zane, Harry, and Liam, and then more of these pens. And then I have this mini pen, which came with this like post-it thing. Then I got this mini notebook, this one, this big magnet, this magnet, and there's like a bunch of them on here, I just didn't take them out yet. This mini notebook, and this mini notebook. And this like pen thing that says like One Direction, and it has a Liam charm on it, and then it's also a bracelet, so it's in bracelet form right now. And then if you open it, it's like a pen. So yeah, and you can move it. It's really cool, actually. So yeah, the, that was all like, all a dollar, all that stuff. So you should really go check out Target. There's more stuff there that you can get for like $1 to $3. So yeah, go check that out. And so yeah, that's all for my November favorites. I really hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye!